Because they know you guys like to 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 You guys like to 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 too much. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today I am going to talk to you about this story. My husband actually sent me the story and when he sent it to me, I didn't even blink twice. I told him, I said, this story is fake. And I said, give me five minutes. And within five minutes, I was able to prove that the story was fake. Now this story, I don't know if some of you have heard of it, but it just started circulating. It's now 10.30, so 10.25 p.m. See, I'm making stew. <laughs> I'm cooking tonight. So here is how you debunk fake news. I'll find, try and find out if a news is fake or not. I already went to the TikTok page and I saw lots of people. Actually, right now, they're like, I don't know how many people that have already commented and people were giving the guy accolade. The guy that, um, was sharing the blogger that was sharing the story it was the way i don't know i just felt bad that you know why is it that we always have to talk badly of our people from our country now i don't know if the guy is from is from nigeria or not but i just felt really bad so this is the narrative of the story so um the guy that was i'm not uh let me see okay so right now as of now there are over so it just came out and as of now there are over 700 comments giving the guy like oh yay good job thanks for telling us oh and then bad mountain whatever the event was so apparently the story originated from my sources from this website called um i think it's called the street journal yeah so the street journal they came up with this story and apparently in the story they said that a nigerian guy jamil is is a boy or something he impregnated four <laughs> four police officers at the same time so anyway yeah and then they showed this picture right here of the guy getting uncurved and then they showed pictures of the other ladies okay so i'm gonna just gonna show you the pictures of the other ladies right here okay so let me show you how you debunk stories like this what you do is and this is what i did i went on google okay when you do a search right you can do a google search using images right so what you do is that you go on google and if you don't have the image icon right there then what you do is that you download it so Im image and google with image search you want to get google with image search once you get google with image search you can take any images that anybody has put on internet and google will tell you the source of that image so with that being said we're gonna take the image of the guy getting uncovered so this is the image of the guy getting uncovered and i put it on the search and this image is an image you can now go from there you can now go and visit the video um the um the picture the website and this is actually from january of 2020 during 2023 during martin luther king parade there was apparently what happens is that police arrested a man after mounting police in riot gear so that was the story but they are saying that this is a nigerian guy that went to school jamil you guys then let's talk about the women okay so the women and i'm gonna show in the order the women first of all the women you can also take the pictures of the women <laughs> and find out more information about that so the first thing is that the woman in the lower left the one that was in gray that he said the one in gray actually said something that woman that was in gray, she was pregnant in 2014. And the only reason why her picture was in social media with her pregnant stomach was because she was having a case, a discrimination um, case crime against the, within the county or whatever, Cincinnati, Ohio. Now the guy that they are saying that did all this is in New Jersey, apparently. So that's that one. Now the other lady, in the other corner, the other right, right corner, the other lady, her name is Jennifer. 
um, Olivers, and she is a patrol officer, I think in Texas or somewhere, and she, she was pregnant in 2019. You guys. Hmm. And then the one on the top right side, she, she was pregnant in Georgia at another year. And then the last lady was, I think, in LA or whatever. Okay, I want to make a change. The lady, this lady over here, she is in South Carolina. Apparently, her husband died, right? So she did a photo shoot wearing the uniform and the officers. This was back in 2016. So you can even see that this is a sad story that people are using a picture. So yeah, this is so sad. But keep on watching you guys 2024 is coming we have to be smarter when we're looking at pictures and when we are hearing stories we have to be smarter at debunking all these stories that touch the heart people want to go viral people want to you know more views more engagement more money whatever i don't know what this website is maybe it's a tabloid i think it's a tabloid but we have to be smarter because these are real people that have real lives. Can you imagine you seeing a picture of yourself and somebody is saying that you did something and you're like, ah, went from where to where to where. So we have to learn to be smarter in all this. People, please let us be smarter in 2024. So it's just amazing that people don't know about Google. Image search. There's even image search on Amazon if you want to buy something. So if you take a picture of me right now, take a picture. Amazon will tell you, if you take a picture, even if I put my outfit like this, take a picture, go on the Amazon app. Amazon will tell you where to buy my hair ring, where to buy my shirt, where to buy my this, where to buy everything on me. There is Google search. So before you write comment and say, ha, ah, hey, what is wrong with that person? Why did that person do that? Do your own research, eh? How many times did I call you? How many times did I call you? How many times did I do your own research before you come and book. Now, another thing that you should be wearful, or mindful of is that if a case like this happens in the US, why is it it's on the news? They say it happened six hours ago. This is December, uh, what's today? Is it? December 9th, 2023. It happened six hours ago. Why isn't this on the news? If you Google this guy's name, Google his name, Jamil um, Ezebuke, you won't see anything about that name. Google that name again. Jamil Ezebuke, New Jersey. Let us be smart. You won't see anything like that. So why are people carrying stories like this? And why are they saying Nigerian? They are saying Nigeria because they know you guys like to 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 You guys like to 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 too much. That is why. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, I have other vlogs. I have other videos that make more sense and are real. So watch them. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.